Yeah, hi, this is Bill, and this is the last in a series of, hmm, it's, this must be 11, so I've done 10 all on this thing here, which is, amounts to about two and a half hours, and probably off camera, I've probably done about another two and a half, so five hours to do that. And this here is, if you look up there, it says working drawing. So that's what I've done there, is I've, that's what is an external reference. In other words, it's this drawing up here. This is how it ended up. Um, I had a few bits of fun. Ooh, that, that there should be there to match that. It's not really necessary, but... And the other thing that wasn't really addressed was how to hold this all up from falling over, I guess. Um, but apart from that, so that's the 3D model, and I've had some troubles. I put it into twin motion, and it just did not want to be behaving itself in twin motion. There's something in this drawing that if we go to uh, where's it gone? Visualize, if we go to visualize materials browser. It's telling us, ah, well, it was telling us that there weren't any materials in there. So I've ended up doubling up on materials. I don't know why. But when I got it into, tw into twin motion, I had troubles with the materials and they didn't have a um, siding. You had to apply each bit of tin to the roof. and It just seemed like all too much trouble. Whereas in Revit, you just do it and it just does it. You drag it in and away it goes. So, score one for Revit there. Um, but I got some pictures out of it. I'll show you the pictures. Um, where are we? Here we go. That's, that's the... Um, this is done in Showcase. And that is... I think I used six evolutions of render for that one. So it's not turned out too bad, but it's, it's nothing flash. And oops, if I can, no, it doesn't want to do that. That one there, and then there's the back view, which is nothing very spectacular. And then I did a, a thing on the inside of it. And these here, Bit of a flaw thing going on there, but it, it's, it looks pretty ugly to my, on my mind. And I don't know how that top there came out green because I told it it was paint. So goodness knows how that's not right. But it's not that bad. Could be using a bit of colours around here to maybe liven it up, a bit of trim or something, I don't know. Anyway, it gives an idea of what it's going to look like. So, just for the person doing this in 3D, you've slaved over it and produced the whole model. So, what you do is you have x reft that into this drawing here. Now, earlier on, I did a, um, what they call a section plane through there, and I got that. And as you can see, there's bits missing, obviously. But that one there, if I click right, right click on it, I can go generate section, 2D, 3D block, and I've already got the section settings all set up, so rather, rather than insert it as a new block, I'm just going to select the block, which is that guy there, and go create. It should go away and create it, shouldn't it? Especially when you press the button, it says create. It's going to make a monkey out of it. Oh, there we go. And so there we are, there we have it. We've got ceiling in there, we've got rafters and purlins. And this is looking a bit ugly around there. It's lost, lost, the, lost the plot on there. And those shouldn't be showing on there. They might be something to do with section settings. We'll just have a little looky on there. Section settings. 
Let me just check this out. Wind it down to background lines. Yeah, uh, magenta. Cutaway geometry. Show no. And, and hidden lines. You're not going to show them. It's probably that one there. So we'll try typing no on that one. And we'll just go create. Because it's already selected that block. It's going to go away and think how long and hard about that. And that's what. I was in too much of a hurry before. Ah, yes, there we go. That's a lot nicer. It's not all those curved tangency lines or whatever they were. So it shows all the purlins, all the tin. If I'd bothered to make that tin in uh, the wrinkle with all the wrinkles in, um, that would have shown up as well. And that's a bit naughty. Well, I haven't chopped that off. It should be chopped off around about there somewhere. And likewise, that one there, if I right-click on that one and generate section to the block, select the block, and just go to create. You won't have to think so hard. And there we have it. It's looking pretty good. So you don't have to... Well, that, and that's probably done... One of the couple of those windows were a bit oversized, whereas this one here looks like it was done nicely and it, it, it fitted around there nicely. Haven't got in the head flashing, which is something that probably should be done. But I'll show you how to do. I'll do a section through here. I could copy that one and just use that one, but I'll show you the command. Section plane, and we just draw a line from here down to here. Nothing happens, great. And see how that's chopped that off. That's because when you create a section plane, it likes to have. If we right click on it and we go untick activate live sectioning, so, or if you wanted to. You could just leave that, if you really wanted to have a look at something, you could leave that unticked like that, so that when you look at it from there, 10 years later, you could actually have a true section. What? True section? Have a little look around. I press, just press shade, shade me on this one. And then, of course, you've got all the other, other things in the way. And I think my graphics card is struggling a bit with that one. Yes, definitely struggling. So we'll... And it's E2000 too. So imagine if I had all the crinkles showing. Uh, things might be a little bit um, lumpy. Even so, that's pretty slow now. So I just turn that... It just annoys me when that, that goes like that. So right-click on that one and just check out... When we generate the section, check out sections. Yeah, just for fun, I think on these other ones I didn't have the color filled in there. So, but I'm going to leave that as a yes intersection fill, and you can make that make that whatever color you like. You can make it say cyan if you wanted to. So, in background lines. Well, I couldn't like, don't want hidden lines showing, but you'd like the background lines to show. Cutaway geometry, and we've already said no to that one, well, so why have we got a, a yes in there? I don't know. Um, curved tangency lines, that's the one that we didn't like. So, here we go. So, and. And, 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 and. So that's the settings. And we're going to insert this as a new block. So we press create. Way it goes. Pretty slow, but just as a different. We've got good control over what happens here. Oh, that's not looking very good, is it? I wonder why that is. That would be 
that's looking that way it should be should be seeing those lines in there. Hmm. So there must be something that's causing that and just have a look at that section settings. Just one of these last ones, curved tangency lines. How how did that slip back to being yes, I don't know, or I, maybe I missed it. Probably I missed it. Yep. Okay, so replace the existing block, select the block. Okay, create. Yeah, that's not a bad bad command now it's pretty good and it's done all the all the stuff it's done all that stuff in the background which normally on a drafting view you wouldn't show so if you wanted to not show it you could just go uh, boundary or volume say boundary and you can bring that back to say there yeah and then just do it again just uh, it's not exactly Revit, but it's uh, fairly fast to change your mind on what you want. The joy of doing all doing things all this way now, see that looks much cleaner, more truer to normal. Um, I could have done the same on that one there, but then I would have missed out all these windows and things there showing up. Okay, so now. Now, suppose you wanted a floor plan out of that. How do you do that? Well, you look from the front, and you go to Section Plane, and pick a sort of a place where you're going to go through all the windows. It's usually a good idea. Didn't like that one, did it? See, I'm not liking that a bit, but there we go. So take off the activate live sectioning it looks like it's going downwards it might be going upwards let's see what happens when we generate the section and so it is a new block that we've got we've got ah you see it's lost lost the plot we wanted cyan for that one and that color eight well we could change that to say uh, select the color Good old 252, nice shade of grey, background lines showing them, but not the hidden lines. And hidden lines, no. And what's the final one? There's going to be tangency lines, no. Why they don't have these or unticked as a, don't get me started, as a uh, thing they do. Okay, inserting his new block, so create. And this computer is about 10 years old, maybe older than 10. So you know how that comes in. It's looking upwards because it's, you're seeing all the... All the um, roofing structure because they haven't put a ceiling in there so that one there if we flick that round uh -oh, do. where are we maybe if we go into here boundary yes yeah, see the boundary is looking upwards so we'll, we'll change it to oh go down to there and we'll just redo that one. And I've used up the 15 minutes, and that's the end of the uh, thing. That uh, you could use this as your. 2D drawing, and see everything. Everything is in there. The differences are that well, that doesn't look right, but that you can see every last little detail. Quite unlike Revit, which was not 
available.